Welcome to the continuation of Inquiries, Investigation, and Immersion Course Orientation. And for this discussion, I'll be discussing to you your learning plan. So I have made a weekly activities. Each week has a learning outcome and of course a course topic together with our teaching and learning activities that we can do on each week. So for week one, I am expecting you that you will be able to compare various research design discussed in the previous practical research courses. So it will be on week one, two, three. And also, you must be able to uh, discuss a mixed method, explain the similarities and differences strength and weaknesses of research under week one to three also i'm expecting you that you will be able to facilitate discussion of a critical analysis of a research paper and formulate a class research agenda so therefore your learning outcome um, must be able to realize your potentialities so therefore we will have a online class discussion wherein you will be the one to share your discussion with your critical analysis of your research paper so this will gonna be an online discussion therefore both of us will be having a google meet or it can be on a via messenger by group and these activities are all under in the umbrella of brainstorming for research topics. For teaching learning activities, we will have a collaborative in-class activities. Then therefore, it is on an online classes also. It is very important for us to have that such kind of platform of learning. We cannot stop with module-module lang. Because this is a research subject. This is a, one of the most difficult subjects that you have in your senior high school. And it needs um, online consultation with your teacher. And also, another teaching learning activities is the critical analysis reporting of your research agenda. Then we can also have a small group discussion and of course a summative test regarding with the similarities, differences, strengths and weaknesses. Yon. So these things we can have uh, in our first summative test. And for week 4, for your learning outcome, I am expecting you that you will be able to formulate a clearly statement of your research problem and also you must be able to present a written statement of the problem of your paper. So these learning outcome are in the umbrella of identifying the problem and asking the questions. So for these activities, we can have a lectures and discussions, collaborative in-class activities, research problem presentation, and also research consultation. And again, these things can only be done through um, online discussion with your teacher. Okay? Again, this cannot be done in a module-module lang. For week 5, I'm expecting you, your learning outcome must be, you must be able to Select, cite, and synthesize properly the related literature for your research. And also, you must be able to use sources according to ethical standards and present your review of literature. And these learning outcomes are all in the umbrella of reading on related studies. Teaching learning activities for this is also collaborative in-class activities, lecture and discussions, library work. Library work can be done via online because we are on pandemic pa naman, and also research consultation with me. And for your week 6, 
I am expecting your learning outcome should be you must be able to describe adequately the research design that you have for your research, whether it is quantitative, qualitative, or mixed method. And you must be able to present the sample, the research instrument, the data collection, and analysis procedures of your research paper. And of course, you must be able to present your written research. And these learning outcomes are in the umbrella of understanding ways to collect data. Teaching and learning activities. Again, we can have lecture and discussion, collaborative in-class activities, practice tasks, research consultation, and of course, your mock defense. For week 7, please calendar your uh, dates. For this week, you're going to present your research proposal uh, during your first oral defense, which is you're going to present your chapter 1 to 3. After your panel gives you suggestions and recommendations, and once it is approved, then you can continue uh, working your paper to improve your paper and then move on to your uh, next uh, step for your research paper and for week 8 to 11 which is 8 9 10 11 four weeks this weeks you're going to gather and analyze data with intellectual honesty using suitable techniques and you must be able to analyze the data using qualitative data and SPSS for your quantitative data. So it depends to your research design. Please consult your um, research um, statistician for this if you have quantitative uh, research design for SPSS. Then of course it is under the umbrella of finding answers to research question and Teaching learning outcome for this is practice task wherein you're going to practice your uh, what you have learned. You will do gather and analyze the data. So you will practice what you have learned and collaborative in class activities. Please co collaborate with your group members and of course research consultation with me. And again, these are all online activities. And for week 12 wherein your learning outcome should be you must be able to form logical conclusion makes recommendations based on conclusions and of course you must be able to write and present a clear report and these learning outcomes are under the umbrella of reporting findings drawing conclusions and making recommendations teaching and learning activities for these are collaborative in class activities, instrument administration, experimentation, whichever it is applicable in your research design, and of course, research consultation with me. Then after you have done finding answers to your research questions, and then you were able to come up uh, finding drawing conclusions and making recommendations, you were able to write that in logical manner, then that's the time for you to have another schedule for your final defense. So please calendar your uh, dates on week 13 because you were about to have your final oral defense with your panel. So this time, your uh, last chapters of your paper you will defend no and then after your final defense with your panelists you're going to uh, revise your written research report based on the suggestions and recommendations of your panelists and these are all be done on your week 14 and then after that you must be able to submit your final research uh, report and and these are all in the umbrella of sharing your research. Teaching learning outcomes for uh, activities for this are, of course, research consultation with your research advisor and to your panelists. Then after doing so, then you 
must be able to polish your paper and then submit your paper so that you can finish and have your grade in your increase and investigation subject with me so that's all and thank you